So now we've uh, created a recording, and the recording is called a clip. We're in this clips view. But we might actually need to change some things about the entire clip outside of quantizing, which we did. Everything's in time, but what if the pitches are wrong? And also, look, the, the clip we made is not the length we want. Okay, so if we click on the outside edge of these three tools here, let's zoom in to look at that, it turns into what's called the smart tool. And that lets us use all three of these different things this trimming tool, this selecting tool, and this grabbing tool. Let's just use all three of those depending on where we place our cursor. If we're in the bottom part of the clip here, turn to the hand tool and let's just drag things around. If we're into the right side of the, the tool here, as you can see, it turns into this selector thing which lets us drag on whatever grid line we've chosen uh, to the end of the clip. Okay. These are too long to notice these these notes here. So what we can do is we can actually quantize the end of the clip too to make it so they don't um, go further past that. We don't want to quantize the entire clip here because we just want to affect these last notes. So let's go into notes instead and then select the ones we want. Now we hit our option O, sorry, option zero and we go to note off, that's what we want to quantize. Um, I want it to lock to the nearest measure, just so it ends in measure seven. So I say whole note here, and then apply. Now it locks it back there to the beginning of that measure. I can now just go back into clips if I want to deal with things that way. And there we go, now I have a much more clean grid line and I could take this whole thing and hit here I'm hitting Apple D and duplicate it and it'll be the, the length I like. Okay. Um, say I have some wrong notes in here though, I can correct them too. I'm going to go over to here, zoom in a bit. Uh, say this note was wrong. If I click on it, I can just drag up or down. And it'll change where that note goes. So, if you have any mistakes, select them and you can do that. Say I wanted to get a bunch of notes and mess with them, I can just click anywhere that's not on a note and just drag over all those notes and then it'll move them all together. I can also just click on one and hold down shift and then click individual ones I want. And it'll add those and mess with those ones. I'll undo that though because I don't want them to do that. And so notes lets you go in individually to do that. Okay, so now we've edited everything and it's just perfect. Uh, but we might, want, we might want to then change how loud these notes are. Maybe some notes are way too loud. To do that, we can go to this. There's a couple ways to do it, but one way to do it again is we can go to Notes View, and from Notes we can go to Velocity. Okay, Velocity now is going to overlay in these little tree things how loud a note is for, um, for each place. So if I go like this and click and pull down, it's going to make um, a softer note value. Unfortunately, this instrument doesn't really have softer and louder notes for each, although it registers them. So what we're going to need to do to really see this is change to some type of um, instrument that does have those. So I'm going to actually just change this instrument right now then over to my inserts and I'm going to change it to uh, the piano instrument here. Let's go to, uh, oops, that's not what I intended, but uh, what the heck, some piano we don't have here. Let's get this, uh, let's get this awful uh, click off of here. And we don't need this extra instrument that we're not using right now. So let's right click on it and delete it. Go back to the beginning. Hit the transport here. Now I do have differences in loudness. These are a lot softer, these octaves. Dun, dun, dun. That background drone dun, dun, is softer. 
So I can see in colors. That's pretty soft. What if I want it to be louder? I could just drag up. And in real time, it kind of auditions how loud that is. If I'm going to click somewhere before it and hit space bar to play, it's going to be really loud right here because it's dark. Well, we don't want it that loud. That's extreme. It's still background. I think it's a little bit too loud here. I want this one here to be a bit just a bit softer than that. So that should be a little bit lower. Okay. So I can go in and individually click on a note and edit those. I can also do the same thing by kind of dragging over several. And now that whole chord that I selected is going to be edited together. That's a bit much. I'm going to undo, undo that. Better. Now, what if I had no velocity information like this? Sometimes you're just entering in notes in one at a time. And so you want to change all your velocity information or you want to change it all in a certain way. One way you can do that is you can click on this tool, this, um, this pencil tool, and you can just go in and you can draw your velocity in. So if I did that, then let's go back uh, with this transport to the beginning. Now everything, everything's going to be soft now here. And it's getting louder as we go on in music, what we call crescendo. Building tension, getting louder. So that's cool. I could just, you know, draw however I want it to happen and it'll fix all these lines. I'm gonna hit edit, undo, or Apple Z. Sometimes you want it really specific here. I can just click line and instead of having to freehand draw things, um, I can just click and whatever I do, notice this, wherever I, the top is, it creates an angle from the bottom part to the top part and creates a line and the velocities follow that. It makes more of a smooth transition from place to place. What other ones here? Um, this isn't as useful for um, velocity oftentimes, but I can do things like square patterns. Um, there's kind of a pattern of square, you can't quite see it here, um, but it'll make sense with pan. Anyway, that's velocity editing. I can do individual things um, by clicking on them with this hand tool, this grabber selection tool. I can select groups of them and mess with them. Um, or I can use this pencil tool to select them. There's one more thing I can do too. I can select all of them like this, or just I can just also uh, put it on Eclipse View, that type of thing. And I can go to Events, and I can go to Change Velocity. Let's get that over here. In Change Velocity, I can also do things that apply to whatever se selection I've made. Um, so. I could just select a little bit of them, a few notes, or I could select a whole section like this, or the entire piece, whatever I want. And then maybe I want to make everything a little bit louder, my velocity, so I can say add and 36. So now the velocities of everything went up by 36. I'm gonna undo that. Um, or subtract or scale by. I wanna make everything um, to be 110 to 120% or something of what we have. Just make everything a little bit louder because it maybe wasn't coming out right with the instrument. Hit apply and it does that. That's a really nice function there. Change smoothly. Well, I can change from the beginning value, a small value, and having an ending value. And then from left or right, I can tell it how much to change. Uh, that can be really valuable for, again, for creating these things called crescendos. 
so can this. I can change different types of curves so that it starts out with just a little bit of motion, but then it starts getting more and more change. I can change that to be more and more of one of these type of slow and then faster and faster curves, an exponential curve, or I can make it very linear, or I can make it the opposite of that, starting out to, to change a lot and then tapering off as it goes. So really nice ways of having intuitive control over the volumes. Let's just say my instrument doesn't have, um, maybe my instrument doesn't have all these changes. Maybe there's a minimum or a maximum amount of velocity that has. I could say limit my velocity to a certain amount. Finally, maybe I want to have uh, interesting abrupt sounds changing in ways I don't expect. I can hit randomize and I can randomize it totally or just a bit. I can possibly give kind of humanized feel to certain things, especially again if I've entered uh, the notes one at a time rather than recording them in. And I want to uh, give more of a human feel to things.